After taking a look at the Cooler Master CK721, I think the end result is a bit of a mixed bag. From the outset, you can see a new style of keyboard emphasized with its user-replaceable metal frame to allow for custom ones. In terms of physical features, I really appreciate the multifunction knob and two kickstands to provide multiple heights to prop it up. The many secondary functions on the CK721 also reveal its strong compatibility for both Windows and macOS. Cooler Master has also packed a few good accessories, including its wireless extender, wire keycap holder, and foam wrist rest. The TTC red switches are consistent in feel across the keys, and the RGB LED lighting is easily customizable on the fly. The real highlight is the fact that the CK721 can operate plugged in or wirelessly, while also including Bluetooth 5.1 support and the ability to remember up to three devices at once. However, day-to-day -day usage is where we see more flaws. For one, its removable frame is not securely attached to the body and therefore creates a harsh metallic ping on every key press. This separated body and frame also means the CK721 does not feel as robust with flexing observed in the body. Battery life was shorter than what I would like, and I really missed having PBT keycaps included. In addition, it would have been nice to see a dedicated Windows lock light. On the software side, Cooler Master needs to improve the UI for better font scaling and refine their firmware update process. At the time of the review, the Cooler Master CK721 can be found for around $120, which is the exact same price as other Cooler Master keyboards like the SK622, although this is slightly larger. All in all, the Cooler Master CK721 has notable features in a compact package, especially when it comes to compatibility, but there are also lacking areas that should be addressed before the CK721 can shine. The full review can be found in the video description below.